anyone can get is allowing God to use you. You know, the inhabitants of Abuja land gave it up to the government. They lost their land to the government. While they were inhabiting the land, there was no good road. There was no park on water. But when government took over the land, for what government wanted to achieve, they needed good roads. The Bagis never begged for it. All they needed to do was to yield their land to the government. Pipe bond water came. When all these amenities began to emerge, people started leaving their villages to come here. That's how you and I got here. So when we yield ourselves to God for what he wants to achieve, everything he knows that is needed for it, he will provide them. That's why Jesus says, seek ye first. So if every treasure is going to emerge, the master must use it. And the beauty of it is who is using it. Because whether we like it or not, as humans, we must be used. The question is who is using you? Because who is using you, the motive is, if God knows that your ministry is going to explode to Canada, you don't need to bother about visa, sir. Because it's his own plan. So he will, he will, it's what he wants to achieve. So this will be our cry tonight. The Father, take control. Take over. I, I, I don't want to struggle with you to tell you I must be a medical doctor. If you want me to take the microphone, I'm here. If you want me to go to one remote village and preach your gospel, I'm here. Why struggle? I give myself away. Give myself away so you can I give myself away. Give myself away. Father, let your will be done in my life. Give myself, give away. myself away so you can use me. So here I am. Take over, Jesus, take over. Here I am at the end of myself. Take over, Jesus, take over. Can you pray that prayer tonight? Say, Father. Here I am at the end of myself. Take over, take over, Jesus, take over. I've tried everything I know, Lord, but here I am at the end of myself. Take over. Jesus, take over. Lord, here I am, Lord. At the end, at the end of everything I know, at the end of everything I know, Lord. My wisdom cannot carry me. My wisdom cannot carry me, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Take over, Jesus, take over, take 
over my destiny. Take hold over my family, Lord. Over the lives of my children. Take over, Jesus. that can make me what I want to be in life it's by your grace so oh, father take over take over take over my family take over my foundation if there be any cause in your foundation ask God to take over if there is anything we are calling in your house, say, Father, take over. Jesus, take over. I came into this on my own. to take over your sick mother you don't have money to treat her but just tell him father take over her health take over her health let healing rest upon her father take over take over take over in 11 28 of the book of Matthew Jesus said Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. Come. So tonight, tell him, Father, take over. Take over. Take over. In case you are here and you are distracted or confused about life, tell him, take over. Take over. Tell him to lead you. Tell him to lead you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't take, take over. Jesus, take over. You are my lead, Lord. Where you lead, I will follow. You are my healer. What the doctor says is impossible, you make it possible. You are my provider. Take over. Take over my finances. My supply come from you. My supply come from you. Take over. Take over. I don't know what you're believing God to to step in in your life this moment just lift your voice and say father take over 
Say, take over. Oh, yeah. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over.
most vulnerable place. Until the rivers of living water start flowing out of your belly. <laughs> resurrection and I am like the Bible says we are seated with him in heavenly places so if he could do it that means it's a possibility he only came here to show us that it's possible so until a sick person entered a box with you and your cloth touched their cloth and that infirmity dries up wait on God don't be in a hurry the world will hear about you but the question is, what would the word hear about you? Because if you stay so well with a woman that sells roasted fish, you start smelling fish. So if you stay so well with God, you will smell God. As Moses said, I will go nowhere. Last year, I don't know if I'll share this testimony here. Last year, I had to... I had the opportunity of traveling to Lagos by road and we're in the bus and then somebody was supposed to sit close to the window just because every journey she makes, she vomits. Do you know, there are people like that. There are people like that. She vomits, she must vomit. So she already prepared her mind where to sit. So in case it catches her on her ways, she could use the window. And then somebody else came to sit there while she went to get something. And then there was this argument. We're supposed to move and we're now settling case as to where somebody has to sit down because she has one condition that will make her sit close to the window. When I got to, I was angry because it's a guy that was sitting there. I was like, come on now, it's a lady. Just allow her to have her way. It's always women's style to have their way. So, guy. So I now had her reason. I got angry. It's like, no. Lady, sit here. Young man, sit close to the window. If you vomit in this bus, the last time you vomited is the last time. We're going to Lagos from Abuja. And when we got to Lagos, I asked her, did your village people come? She said, no. I said, they won't see you again. Except you drag them back in your mind. You're not going to vomit. I was angry, like, I went one day, that's about seven years ago, I went back to the school where I graduated from. There was this madman, that was about eight years after I graduated, all right? There was this madman that had been there while I was in school. I got there, he was still mad. I, I wasn't having this business then, sir. Maybe I would have just grabbed his hair and started shouting. I saw him, I was like, Father, why am I following you? If this guy is still mad. But I was saying it inside of me, I was like, God, you have to do something. Because situation should not remain the same. The Bible says that the earth, everything on earth is waiting for your manifestation. So why would you be relaxing? Why are you running after what people will bring to you? They will bring it. All you have to do is sit at the feet of He 
that must send you. Don't run anywhere in the name of God. Mm -mm, wait. Let him give you a message. Because a messenger without a message is a noise maker. It's a message that will sustain. He that the Lord sends preaches the word. So stay to get the word. It, it's, not the, it's not every word that you will preach, sir. It's not the, you, every man has his word. Papa E.A. Adeboye has his word. Papa Adeboye. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, Waleoke has his word. So, uh, Papa David Oyedekbo has his word of prosperity and faith. Christo Yakulome has his word of Holy Spirit. Uh, Papa Kumoye has his word of holiness. What word has he revealed himself to you in? For every man he sent, he revealed himself in every face. To Moses, he was the law. To Jesus, he became the grace and truth. What word has he revealed to you? What are you running with? Where are you even running to? Where has he asked you to go? What did he ask you to say when you get there? Until he commands. Listen. Until my life becomes a fountain where others can drink from. I wait. That is, when you talk, people will listen. I say, I've never heard about God like this. That is, when you come into your office, they are discussing corruption. As soon as you enter, they say, He's here, He's here. Not that you enter a place as a young man. You enter in the midst of boys and they are talking about girls and you enter there, they say have confidence to be talking about the girls. Then your, your Christianity is questionable. Because they should feel uncomfortable with you. They should know you. Because what you will say will be different from what they are saying. We are all youths. I'm not an old man. So I'm charging myself. Until my life becomes a fountain. Where all that can drink from, I wait. Somebody was sharing the testimony, sir. He said they were in the air flying. And then all of a sudden there was turbulence. Everybody was scared. He looked, the curtain that is separating economies from business class now shifted. He now looked into the first class. He saw E.A. at the boy. He now said, God can't kill this man, so I'm okay. That is, God's economy in a man cannot be wasted. So, that plane, even if the whole engine fails, eh? <laughs> he will give you this angel's charge over you. They will bear you up. So, that, that plane will still land because there is a man that must not die. That, seeing a man in that order gives somebody confidence. What confidence are you giving? Until my life becomes a fountain where others can drink from. I wait until my life, Lord. Until my life becomes a fountain where others can drink from. I wait on you. Okay, the last song I'm just going to do is still a prayer. Funny enough, sir, all my songs are prayers. Well, I worship God in my closet. They are all prayers. And when God deals with me, I put it into sound. And this one says, Open my eyes, Lord. Let me see the direction you are taking. Because I don't want to be in the place you have left. Open my eyes, Lord. Let me see the direction you are taking. Cause I don't wanna be in a place you have left. My heart is open. Let me hear you when you speak your word. Cause I don't want to run with a vision you have left. I surrender. To you, I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender. Can we cry it out? I 
By the grace of God, next year, if the Lord tarries, you tarry summit is not going to hold in Gwagwalada. We are taking it to the heart of the city. Somebody say, Hallelujah. So we can get more people to be part of what God is doing. Can we celebrate God's servant, Chris Symbols? You are not clapping. Clap, 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 clap. Hallelujah. I just want to pray for you that in the name of Jesus, you will not miss your place in destiny. You will fulfill your destiny. No man will take your place in the name of Jesus Christ. I said no man will take your place. No man will take your office in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise on your feet and just wave your hands to the Lord and thank him for the success of this year's Uterize Summit for how the Lord has blessed us from morning. It's been awesome. The first teaching, the seminar sessions, all of the loadings that we have received from God. Give Him thanks, give Him praise, give Him glory, give Him honor, give adoration to Him. Thank Him for being so, so gracious to us this year. Father, we give you glory. We celebrate you, we honor you, we thank you, we bless you. Thank you, awesome Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody say a loud hey, amen. amen. We haven't taken any offerings since morning, first session, second session. I want to give us opportunity to be blessed. Hallelujah. It's an opportunity to be blessed. The bill of the meeting is paid. Praise the Lord fully paid by the grace of God. But when we worship, we have opportunity to be blessed. Ushers, you can share envelope so that people can package their offerings and be blessed. While we're doing that, I want to thank all our team members for all that they are putting to make this meeting a success. I start with the choir. Please celebrate the choir. Put your hands together for them. You are not clapping well. Hallelujah. Then our media team. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You are not celebrating them. Hallelujah. They sent to me the YouTube link for the morning session. Did you transmit all the other sessions too? Including the session. Wow, great. So we can download this session on YouTube. Except for those students that were running up and down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we give glory to God. We thank you, media team. Thank you for all that you've done. What shall we say concerning Momiolale and our team for feeding us morning and afternoon? <laughs> Hallelujah. For loading us with food. Thank you so much. The ushering team, thank you. The intercessors, thank you. All our guests, all our visitors, we appreciate you. So many have gone, but we thank you.